Random Dude 751 here bringing you another Men of War online commentary. This is on the map Suburb 2, a 4v4, Germany versus the Soviet Union. And because I've played on everything, I haven't played Germany. Because on the patch, everything's something there. Yeah, I'll put it on Fast Forward. Let's see. Hey, fast Forward's the first few battles as well. So, yeah, there was a big map there, but it doesn't really matter because nothing's going on. It's just the left from the last video. So, split one guy off to capture that back point. And I very much doubt they're ever going to do anything there, but I've seen that light vehicle. It made me happy that I put a guy back there. They're obviously trying to get an early jump on the scoreboard by capturing the sensor. And it was very unlikely the Jeep they're going to hold it, but yeah, it gives them a boost. So it's one flag each at the moment. And you can tell the battle's going to take place in the sensor because everybody's just flooding in it. Um, I play quite poorly for the first bit I believe. I d I'm not microing my guys very well because at the same time you saw that little steam thing come out. I was talking with my mate whilst I was doing this. So I had one hand holding the microphone. I can only play one handed so I play a bit crap for the first few minutes but it gets better when I stop talking to him because I put I ask him for him on hold. And he still is on hold right now so well actually I'll mute I took him off and said can I have to put you on hold for another twenty minutes to record this. But anyway, this is a four v four my guy failed there, <laughs> that's why I wasn't, I, was gonna start. It was, I was an idiot to think I'd throw. And my guys fail here, they can't kill this SMG. They're behind cover, that beats laying down, somehow I can't. He throws a grenade, guys ignore me, so he dies for it. So I was thinking I might run this dude up, but then I realised I'm not going to make the same mistake my enemies did in the last game. So I'm turning around, he's facing the centre of the flag now. Yeah, I will, I'm not. I don't do the most in this game, but in most of my games, I won't do the most. I'm um, the. I don't like just sacrificing tanks, but you still gain the point. I think it's pointless. But anyway, three three, and for some reason they haven't captured their back point, so they, they're not getting any points. And well, that's my own fault. They should have really organised themselves to capture all the points. Yeah, they send one guy off, but now they've captured it, so now the points going up. So now they've got the early lead in the scoreboard. My guy, my guy's a machine gunning these dudes down. Then I rushed this dude up, and I should, I was trying to get him to lay down, but there was a bit of lag, and the first time I pressed R, he was dead, so. Well, actually, no, I pressed it before, and by the time the issue, issue or the order was issued, he was already dead, so. I'm moving up on the left, I'm going to secure the left at the middle point, and, but there's a machine gun down there, I believe, and he's just pinned me, I don't know, so it's an assault infantry, I want him, but I assault infantry with machine gun, so they're deadly with it. My guys can't do anything, and then there's a little... Um, light on my vehicle. It's a good starting vehicle. Now so the guy put it on 25 minutes and of like 160, so you get your money really fast. And I've already got enough for a tiger, and you know how far it is. It's barely anything in. Something pretty annoying and pointless it ruins the game for me. So I'm just gonna buy a panther. Panthers are very fast. They're considered better, better than the tiger, though I don't really see how the stats. They got a better gun, and they're faster. They lose hull armor, but gain turret armor. So the armor for me is basically identical. It doesn't really affect my decision. The gun is a bit better and it's a faster. And that makes them worth six more points. So, yeah. But if they get hit in the hull, then they're weaker than the tiger. If they get hit in the turret, they're stronger. But I've noticed that you can have the strongest turret armor in the world. It doesn't matter because your hull's been blown off. I'd lose the in the hull. Obviously, because then, you know, can't do anything. So it is rolling up, there's a KV-1 there, and because there's lag, my direct control goes to hell, so I'm telling him to go left, and he goes way too much left, like there. So I'm telling him to go right, then he goes way too much right, and this is not going very well for me at the moment. So I'm going to try and take out this um, KV-1, I fire, I miss somehow. My allies H takes it out, and then because of the lag, he has to push forward, and then my tank goes backwards, which is this. So he's just rolling up his H, because it's, it's not a very expensive tank, it's... The Panzer series for the Germans are crap, so... This isn't my game, by the way, some other dude made it. So I just thought I'll join it, because Battle Zones is good enough. It's going to be, um, not full of... Well, it's not going to be one of those crappy ones, anyway. So the tank's deciding where to shoot, I'm telling him to load HE rounds, heat rounds. But then I notice this tank down here, which is the SU-100, I believe. Yep. 
So the barrel's in the way and he's moving up close. I'm like, oh god, that's going to destroy me. Fires, hits the track. <laughs> Fire at him and no effects. And I'm thinking, hang on, I've got a hundred, I've got green or yellow penetration. I fire again, no effect. Well, actually, that one misses, sorry. So I'm, I'm just thinking, what's going on? So he's shooting at this other tank. I'm, they've no, fire again, no effect. And I'm just wondering what's going on here because that thing should be dead. And then I hit the main gun and I'm amazed I hit that. So I was going to, thought I was going to finish it here. So I was going to get close up a fire, hits the whole no effect. I'm like, okay. But at least I got out of it better. He took out my track. I took out his gun. Guns take longer to repair. So I got out of that the better. And you know, I think they're the same, aren't they? I, I don't know. But anyway, we either got out equal or I got a bit better. So I'm going. I'm moving up the because um, I've taken the left to the middle, or I've got it secured enough. I'm trying to take out the gun left, but there's a machine gunner there. And I'm sure my guy could have got a grenade over there, but he wasn't being very clever. And he did some. Why was he aiming there when I was telling him to aim at the bunker? So then he does aim at the bunker, and I use just in range. I was thinking of throwing. Then I get distracted when a bunch of infantry, I believe, flood my position. Oh, my guys are getting mowed down. So you get a bit of machine gun fire, the grenade goes off, kills that dude, and then he gets shot in the head by the assault infantry. That assault infantry comes in terror with me because I cannot do anything about him. He's assault infantry. I cannot be assault infantry, especially one with a light machine gun. So I'm stuck. Left flank, I can't advance up it. The only thing I can do is my panther. The AT gun I bought was now useless. So I'm so he's been repaired. I fire. And I crush his hole. For some reason, at a bigger distance with less chance of penetration, I can crush his hole when it's a point blank. I can't. So I fire again. Hull destroy it. Always hold destroy a vehicle if you can. If you leave it hull, a chance it will come back. And destroy your tank which is very annoying and then he just holds destroys your tank so when you've lost the tank and it's just really annoying so yeah just try and always hold destroy so the pa this panther and the cave and the is1 that I, I was going to help out but then i saw this little um yeah i think it's the 85 i fire doesn't seem to go through the house so i'm turning around thinking he can't hit me but then he hits me so i'm like bugger i guess he's thinking that I can hear him, but I can't. And luckily, he doesn't take advantage of that and move up on my tank because I couldn't do anything. So I was hoping the lag wouldn't kill me here and send my guy two out. Thank God it does not. So then I'm going to crush through this wall and try and get a shot off. But as I do, that which has been destroyed gets in the way. I can't hit it. So I, I keep on getting flashes of it. I fire. Turret destroyed. Doesn't do any effect to the tank, so I'm doing aiming again. I fire, main gun destroyed, and I'm obviously going to have to move this H out of the way or something. So the H starts to disappear, and it's now just a waiting game of who will shoot first. So I think it's disappear, fire again, hits the H somehow. He does it though, so then reload first. It's just reloading, reloading. Fire again, and main gun destroyed. Sorry, that was a bit, a bit early, but I'm in a minute. So yeah, it's just sitting there, main gun destroyed. So the KV's moving up, so I'm targeting it's just to write the whole hole destroyed. It's have a KV, sorry, it's an SU, isn't it? Yeah, seriously, have other SUs there. Can't hit it. And I'll give it a shot because I'm getting issues of okay. I'll just hit the building, but oh, don't worry, that's the enemy's building, like, potentially. So that's okay. So I'm aiming into the corner now, so hopefully he can't hit my tank. I fire, hole destroyed. So this Panther's paid itself off, definitely. It was definitely a uh, good buy. Now, I know I do get a chance to buy a King Tiger, a Jag Tiger, la da 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 I'm not going to buy a King Tiger or a Jag Tiger. That ruins the fun for me. Well, it doesn't, but it makes poor YouTube if I just buy up and they destroy them all. Or better tanks, so I don't buy any of those. This is the only, t this is the pa most powerful tank I buy. I believe the only other top tank I actually do buy is a Puma. So, so yeah, there's some IS-3 on that ridge, and it's like, uh-oh, because, you know, Ice three could destroy. So there's only a minute and a half of this video left, and then it'll be over. So the H is running through a building. I'm not sure what the thing behind that was. I'll try and fire a HE round. I'll just make a big crater, which is quite handy in the end because I get a guy in there and then he's quite handy. These guys are getting mowed down by this H, which somehow survived the AT grenade that nearly hit it. And I'm running up a guy to throw a grenade, and then he gets caught and stuff. Uh, I'm just getting frustrated. I want, don't want him to die. Starting to but then he must move up, guys. 
So now it's who can get closest to his middle. Because if they have two guys on the edge and you have one guy in the centre, your guy will capture him. I don't know. Uh, it just works like that. I'm not sure. So if you can try and get to centre, throw a grenade, no effect. So I'm guessing they're inside the building. And I may as well just capture it from getting closer to it. So I move my guy up and then it starts to go down. This is where I zoom in on it. Yeah. It's starting to go down. So that's all good. Capturing the centre. We are, I believe, are just losing at this point. So... Yeah, it's all looking good at the moment. Panther's still alive. Everything's okay. I haven't got the most amount of infantry, but I don't really need to because well, my allies are holding off their flanks for once. Usually you get this ally, which is useless, and he loses you your entire game. And you only somehow have all the good players. I don't, don't know nobody on their player was actually particularly bad. But anyway, this um, is coming to a conclusion. We've got about seven seconds left now. Anyway, this is randomly 751. Uh, watch the next video because you'll find out what happens to the rest of this game. Thank you.